Hey y'all, what's up? We've got a hair tutorial featuring my baby girl Sarai. We are doing some really easy braids that I like to do on Sarai's hair to keep her looking cute throughout the week. So we started on freshly washed and conditioned hair, which was a whole process, lots of tears. That's why that part is not on this video, but I'm using the End Love Coconut Milk and Aloe Vera Curl Definition Cream and their Curling Gel. These two products together with a little bit of water is perfect for Sarai's hair texture. As you can see, for a three-year-old, she has a lot of thick, curly, coily, beautiful hair. And with that being said, I like to still use very much so quality, effective products on her because I want her hair to continue to thrive. And the End Love products are really great quality while still being super affordable. Of course, I'll have everything that I use in this video on Sarai's hair linked in the description. So this style is pretty easy when it comes down to the actual technique of the braids, but the hardest part, honestly for us, is parting because getting through all of her hair without causing too much tension and pain is pretty time consuming. So that's what I spend most of the time doing with her is just trying to part her hair as best as I can. So we use lots of water as we go through this process because it's it can be a doozy. But worth it at the end because Sarai loves being cute. Even at three years old, she knows she cute when she gets her hair done. This time I actually used a wax stick from Bedhead, which is actually for me because I couldn't find my edge control anywhere for Sarai's hair. But this will help keep her roots from getting too frizzy too quickly. So I definitely didn't want to skip this step. Now the first product I'm using is gonna be the Curl Definition Cream. And I'm just adding quite a bit onto her hair because I know it's gonna dry and it's going to keep her hair moisturized throughout the week. But I like to also use a lot of water when I am detangling her hair especially because she is pretty tender headed. And so the water helps with detangling so much. So I use lots and lots of water throughout this entire process. Also a helpful tip when detangling is to hold the hair or the section that you're brushing out tightly at the top so that the tension is really being pulled on your hand instead of straight on to the hair. It just makes the process a little bit easier on baby girl or baby boy. Now I'm gonna start parting for my actual braids and the trick here to make them look really nice and neat is to do your sections or your parts in windows. So for example, I'm doing three braids here and then the next row above, I'm going to do four rows. That way the braids actually lay on top of the parts below them and it makes the braids just look a little bit thicker and kind of more, like I said, more neat. And really all in all, this style is super easy to do. I'm just adding gel into each section and then braiding them down. No need for rubber bands, but also if you want a more clean look, you can always add rubber bands to the top and bottoms. But I like a more natural look when I do this on Sarai's hair, so no rubber bands needed. So I just repeat this process all over Sarai's hair and that is literally it, y'all. Super easy, definitely a little time consuming. It took me about three hours to complete her whole head, but it is so worth it because this style lasts us at least two weeks with her playing and going to school and hanging out. It is a go-to for us. And like the rest of us, we all feel incredible once we got a new hairstyle. So I could not stop dancing and just feeling her new do for the week. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this little tutorial. Definitely let me know if you've tried these products. They're also going to be linked, like I said, in the description in case you want to try them out. But yeah, until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.